Is it true that you spent three months secluded in your bedroom as a teenager? Much more than that, I'm sure, but I do distinctly remember one period where I hardly ever left the room for a three-month period. What were you doing in there? Well, that's a good question. I used to write furiously. I was just really nailed to the typewriter, and I was swimming in paper and all kind of introspective things like that. I wasn't exactly your average teenager. The alternatives weren't very glamorous. If I left the room, I'd probably end up at some obscure pub or wandering about the park, which was always quite dangerous. I really had no options. I was unemployed for a very long time and I had no money. It really seemed to me that I would never ever settle for second best in life. But if I couldn't have exactly what I wanted, then I would have absolutely nothing. Because to me, nothing always seemed more important to me than a false something or something that I didn't really want. So therefore I stayed in, I did nothing, I just wrote. I was determined that if I couldn't have exactly what I wanted, then I would disappear into the woodwork. I mean, if somebody said to me, would you rather be incredibly popular and have a throng of supportive friends, or would you rather be a distressed, hysterical person locked in the bedroom? I think I really would choose to be quite popular. Thank you.